What's up YouTube? So what you're looking at is a truck that's been bashed for 12 months straight. It's had about 200 batteries put through it, 4S, 6S. So I'm going to do a, a review on what I've found that I've needed on this truck, just to give you guys a bit of a heads up if you ever think about getting one of these. All right, it's an awesome truck. It goes about 70 Ks on 6S about 60 k's on 4s so let's open it up and uh, i'll run you through a bit about this uh this 18 scale truck it's a double xl2e it runs a 2200 kv motor 90 amp 6s compatible esc and it runs a transmission all right zero issues with the motor no no thermal shutdowns no overheating nothing runs like a gem. The ESC has been great as well. I've run it on um, 38 degree summer days in Australia. No issues. Still the original slipper clutches that's holding up well. I've just tightened the uh, slipper nut on the input shaft on the transmission. It's been great. Alright, the battery case it's been superb. Still on the original straps. It's starting to get a few tears so I'm going to swap that around. All right, now onto the shocks. These things are whopping. All right, they've absorbed everything I've thrown at it over the 12 months. The differentials are great. Nothing wrong there. Still the original fluid inside them. A-arms, no breakages. They've been great too. Bearings are all great. Still, I lubricate them up every couple of months. All right, wheels and tires, same thing, superb. I did split a foam on one of the back wheels and I cracked a rim. Uh, it's still running fine, so they will get changed eventually. It comes with a AVC receiver, active vehicle control. Um, I run that on a Spectrum DX4S transmitter. Let's flip it over. Steering servos have been great. Zero issues with them at all. S601Hs. Uh, drive shafts, all great. Front and rear. I did split a yoke off a bad front end landing. Um, that was quite harsh. That was a 70k 50 foot jump, so not surprised there. Chassis holding up great. These screws are quite small, so you'll have to get another set of those. Keep them as spares. All right, so overall, this truck's held up really well. Zero issues. I mean, the only things that break on it is these spindles. This arm snaps across here where the turnbuckle connects onto down in here. So you've got a turnbuckle which connects up to a spindle. Hub, I've broken a hub. And these are the turnbuckles here. So these, it's kind of a good setup. They are kind of designed to be a weak link. So stock up on these carriers and spindles. They do do aluminium ones, which I'm gonna chuck on, on on the next one that breaks. That'll probably just, I'll just break more turnbuckles now I imagine. Body posts, stock up on a few of those, I've snapped few of those and these are the base screws which are uh, run down in here they're quite small you get a lot of scratches on them and they fill up with dirt and stuff you have to pick it out and it's an easy little thing okay body wise this is the third body I've gone through I liquid nails it with drywall tape just to uh, give it some extra support um, but it's quite a heavy truck so you know when you crash and bash it and roll it it just just the weight of the thing eventually starts cracking so overall great truck highly recommend it um, these are a couple of parts you'll want to get screws turnbuckles hub carriers spindles that kind of stuff 
keep that in the supply, you'd be able to fix it on the field. So, give it a thumbs up. Any comments, put it below. Tell me what you reckon's a good truck to get. Thinking about another one for my boy. We might even get a Techno, the monster truck. Not sure yet. Do a kit version. That's probably the only other truck I'm interested in. So, alright, I'm out of here. Get out there and have some fun with RCs.